Let's continue. In the previous lesson, we saw how 5G goes far beyond 4G in delivering new levels of network performance. We're now going to look at the role of industry standards in making this possible. Clear standards lead to smoother and faster network deployments. In 2021, 176 operators in 72 countries had launched 5G services, and about 600 5G devices – phones, laptops, industrial routers – were on the market. The number of 5G subscribers worldwide exceeded 300 million and was expected to reach 3.5 billion by 2026. This is the fastest mobile network rollout ever and a testament to the power of global standardization. Standards are like the rules of the roads, a commonly recognized code that provides safety and clarity. Equipment manufacturers refer to standards when designing and making communications products. Without standards, a Huawei phone might not connect to an iPhone. Standards also detail how infrastructure equipment like base stations should be installed to deliver optimal performance safely. Two organizations set the majority of mobile network standards. One is ITU. The other one is the Third Generation Partnership Project, or 3GPP. We talked about the ITU in the previous chapter. It's been around since 1865. Back then, the initials stood for International Telegraph Union. The United Nations entrusts ITU to handle all matters related to information and communications technologies. In practice, ITU focuses on the big picture. As for 3GPP, it issues detailed technical specifications for mobile networks. The organization was formed in 1998 with the initial goal to harmonize 3G specifications worldwide. Based in France, the 3GPP is actually a consortium of seven national and regional telecommunications standard-setting organizations. Its membership also includes major equipment vendors like Huawei. The 3GPP has a vast experience with standards. Over the past 20 years, it led 14 different standardizations for wireless communication protocols, including GSM, WCDMA, LTE, and now 5G. ITU and 3GPP complement one another. With regards to 5G, ITU set its vision in 2015. Then industry stakeholders used 3GPP as a forum to discuss how that vision would be realized through the development of specific new technologies. As these technologies became more and more real, 3GPP standardized them. 3GPP issues standards through a system of releases that are the outcome of discussions among members. When a new release comes out, it remains open for revisions for an agreed period of time after which it becomes frozen. 3GPP's first release, early in the 3G era, was called Release 1999, named after the year it was issued. 3GPP later switched to numbering its standards instead of dating them. As we were putting this video together, 3GPP was finalizing Release 17. When setting standards, one of the main concerns of 3GPP members is to make them globally recognized. This provides economies of scale during R&D and manufacturing, and also maximizes equipment interoperability. When standards aren't harmonized, it brings us back to situations like the 1990s. Europe had the GSM standard, while the US and a few other countries had CDMA. A divided world. Making 5G reality requires that a great number of technologies work together to deliver the performance expectations set out by ITU. As you can imagine, deciding on standards for something as groundbreaking and complex as 5G is quite an undertaking. The radio access network, devices, and network core all need their own detailed set of specifications. Owing to the huge size of this task, 3GPP members are working out 5G standards over several releases. The first set of 5G standards was Release 15, issued in December 2017. Release 15 mostly focused on the standardization of technologies enabling EMBB. 3GPP completed Release 16 in the summer of 2020. It includes new performance standards for massive MIMO, a type of antenna that we'll talk about in Chapter 5. Release 16 also clarified that reliability in URLLC must reach 99.9999% and latency go as low as one millisecond, essential targets for certain applications like smart manufacturing. The next batch of 5G standards, Release 17, will cover a broad range of technologies, including additional standards for massive MIMO, as well as more detailed specifications for URLLC. 3GPP members have begun discussing Release 18, 
Release 18 will mark the point at which 5G evolves into 5.5G, or 5G Advanced. 5.5G will likely power lower latency than 5G, faster uplink, and more precise location of connected devices. And that's it for this lesson. In the next chapter, we'll talk about spectrum.